Hello Aldi, it's a beautiful crisp night tonight. It's a Thursday night, I think it's the 26th of January. I do lose track, but I know it's work tomorrow, <laughs> but I'm not gonna waste this beautiful clear night. It's so crisp, I'm gonna actually take the camera up and just do a bit of a tour of the sky for you in a minute, I think it's so crisp. Even my wife commented on how many stars you could see, and this is from our bottle six skies in suburbia. So gotta make the most of it. And in doing so, I'm imaging the Flaming Star Nebula in Riga, which is just above Orion. So fairly close to Zenith. So I'm looking through a thinner patch of the atmosphere, which is gonna help. And it's both an emission and a reflection nebula. Although looking on the pictures, it does mainly seem to be a mission nebula. Uh, but there, the subs are looking good. My first sub, I did try and get away with doing one 10 minute exposure before a meridian flip, and it did the meridian flip halfway through it. Uh, but I'm on track now. I think I'm four 10 minute subs in to my imaging run. ISO 1600 on the Fuji X-T1, which is a stock camera that just happens to be quite sensitive in the H alpha region, so it doesn't really need modding. I did want to go for the elephant's trunk in Cepheus, but my neighbor's house is in the way of that. So this was a plan B, popped in, looked on Stellarium, saw the flaming star was kind of like, not blocked by anything. And uh, I remember someone com uh, asking about it in the comments. So I thought, yeah, let's go for that one, flaming star. So here we have it, one 10 minute exposure on the flaming star nebula. So you can certainly see a lot of nebula there on the exposure. I'm of course using the Optalon Elenance filter, else that would just be completely white right now. This filter is amazing and I highly recommend it. Uh, if I zoom in quite a bit, the stars do trail a bit, just a little bit, but I'm confident that once I've stacked it, it won't be too bad. So yeah, um, I'll get on with it and thanks very much for watching. A big thank you to my channel members as well, Dan the Man and the Four Grapples. Thank you very much and I'll crack on and get some more subs done and uh, hopefully have something nice to show you at the end.